this is RocketCon I'm remastered. I've had several of these mice and all of them have scroll wheel issues after a while. When scrolling it is buggy, there is a reverse scroll or it doesn't scroll to the required number of lines. In this video I will show you how to replace the encoder on the con I'm remastered with another one and solve the scroll problem. To disassemble the mouse you first need to remove the teflon feed. This can be done for example with tweezers. Ok, great. Now using a screwdriver, unscrew the screws and open the case. The TTC encoder is installed from the factory, however it isn't protected from the dust. To remove the encoder you need to unscrew the panel with the LED. Now on the right side disconnect the 3-pin encoder cable. By slightly pulling up on the wheel we remove it from the body mounts. As you can see the cable is connected to the encoder with 3 wires. We must unsolder them and solder the encoder to the new one. For replacement we need 9mm encoders. For example, this is a TTC encoders, green and yellow. The green encoder is slightly smoother than the blue one from the factory. Yellow has a smoother ride and increased time to failure. But all TTC encoders don't have a dust cover, unlike Kailh. Red is smoothest and quietest encoder of all, even smoother than yellow TTC. We carefully look at the order of the connected wires and the color, in order not to confuse. Left to right two whites and one black. Now using a soldering iron, solder the encoder cable. Since I didn't have any other soldering iron at hand and a thin sting, I had no tinker. Let's look at the Kyle encoder. It has tendrils on the sides. We don't need them, so they need to be removed with the side cutter. Now we take the cable and solder it to the new encoder, remembering the order of the wires. Great, the cable is soldered to the encoder. Now connects the encoder to the wheel axle and we attach it to the holding platform. In this case you need to check the wheel travel. After landing it should spin freely. Now we install this mount on the body. 
putting the cable under the wheel and connect the cable to the motherboard. We install the LED in its place. We push it into the center of the wheel so it doesn't clean to the wheel when scrolling. As soon as you manage to find the optimal position of the LED, we twist the panel. We assemble the mouse body and enjoy the results. Now I'll show you what the original problem with scrolling was. This is a stock mouse from the store. Listen to the sound while scrolling and also pay attention to the monitor screen. And here is our fixed mouse with a brand new encoder.